lot of people find painting the hair really difficult and what I sometimes see people do is take the smallest brush that they can and try to do each individual strand of hair as carefully as they can and run all the way down the whole length of the head and it can look really flat and end up not looking very convincing. But what you can do is use one of these grainer brushes which has some long hairs and some short hairs and creates really hair-like texture and use a lot of oil and do basically some strokes where you're twisting the brush as you go and creating really hair-like texture that's describing the planes of the forms and the light and shadow patterns on the hair in a really textured, beautiful hair-like way. Doing the shadows first and then moving to the highlights with a nice light, cool highlight. And again, twisting your brush as you go so you get some tapering where it's thin to wide to thin again, kind of mimicking the way different locks of hair will be like twisting and turning and forming locks together. And then using maybe a mid-tone to just soften out some of those edges if anything seems too harsh. And you can really easily create really hair-like effects this way. That's really fun to do. For more techniques on how to take your portraits to the next level, check out my videos that cover the primary challenges in portraiture. Eyes, nose and mouth, hair, clothing, and backgrounds. Portraits from good to great. I hope you'll join me.